Hey everybody, welcome to this live about bitches. <laughs> now, just a warning, there is some construction happening right outside my office. It's like a jackhammer it is literally happening outside of my office. It is quiet right now. You might need to move at some point, but that's totally fine. That might happen in the future. I'm not going to worry about it, but I really want to talk about being a bitch today. This is going to be a super exciting topic. Let me just share this out to my group, and then I'll get started talking all about bitches and why bitches make money. <laughs> this is something that's been coming up a lot for my clients. Um, hold on one second. Oh, good. Okay. This is something that's been coming up for my clients a lot. This is something that comes up for women all the time. It can come up for men, but I don't know what the word for <laughs> men would be, but I don't know if there is a word that describes when men are aggressive and confident, maybe not even aggressive, just confident, direct, and honest. Is there a word, like a degrading word? For I don't know, right? Erin, tell me if there is a word, because I don't know, but I know that this is a thing that women fear way too much, and it's the fear of being a bitch looking like a bitch, acting like a bitch, saying things that are actually just true and honest communication, um, being direct with people, being confident about who you are, owning your amazing, oh, assholes, yeah, that's probably is a good one. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, assholes is one, okay, good. But it's funny because I think like, the thing about women is that like, being a bitch is, is a lot of times, like, it's not actually a bad thing. It's really not. Being a bitch to me is, like, really just, like, starting to, like, own your power and just starting to to be direct. I just see it as direct communication. Um, I just see it as asking for what I want. And that sometimes I'll be called a bitch if I'm, like, this is what I want and this is what I expect. Or if I'm just, like, straight up with my clients, like, no, you're not doing that. You need to do that, right? And I think there is a, a huge fear a huge fear that women have about it. And you could be like, you could be a bitch and you could be, you know, in a bad way, or you could be a bitch in a good way. And I, I mean, obviously I don't think it's being a bitch, but I think it's really just being direct. It's just being honest. It's just actually communicating what you feel. And I think there's such a fear around it, especially when it comes to, um, if you are a powerful woman, if you're a confident woman, if you know what the fuck you want out of life and you're like ready to take it and you're ready to own it, there is this fear, right, around being a bitch. And in order to be a woman who says what she wants, when she wants it, um, and just, just all that stuff. Yeah, listen, I'm still trying to share this post. It seems like it's not working. All right. I can't share it here, it might freeze up my computer. So let me just get started with really how this like came about, like how this whole thing came about and I'm seeing it happen with my clients all the time. And when I look at what they're afraid of actually being, when I look at of what they're actually saying I'm afraid to be, really deep, they say I'm, I'm afraid to look like a bitch, but what it really means deeply is that they're scared to take up more space. Like they're scared to kind of, own things. They're scared to become a leader. They're scared to um, say things that really, they're scared to be more direct with people. They're scared to be honest with people. And I'm like, listen, if you want to be a leader in this industry, if you want to take a stance for something, if you want to, um, you know, have people follow you and, and see yourself as an authority, like you have to take a stance for something. You have to. And what that means is that means saying things that might make you look like a bitch, right? But it's not. <laughs> it's not a bitch in the negative sense. It is a bitch in I am confident, powerful, I am direct, I know what I want type of way. And there's so much fear around doing that for women. There's so much fear around. I really see it as more of this kind of abstract idea of like taking up space. Like I am scared to take up space almost. I see that a lot with women. Hey, Nicole. Like, I am scared to take up a good amount of space in an industry, in the world, like, in the world, right? Yeah, like, Chantel is totally a bitch. I can vouch for that. She's completely a bitch. 
but it's like I am scared to to take up that space. I'm scared to make a stance and I am scared to say something that truly fucking matters because if I do, what will people think of me? If I do, then how will people respond to me? If I do, then will I? Some of this also comes into place, right? If I take up so much space, like if I become a leader and I take up this space and I, you know, really go after what I want or whatever, will that affect other people around me? Will it hurt other people around me? Will me taking up space um, take away from somebody else? I used to always think that. I used to always think that if I took up space, I would take away from other people in some way. And it's not. You are not taking away from anybody else when you take up space as a leader. You're not taking away from anybody else when you are honest and direct about what you feel or what you know to be true. You have to own that space. You have to own that space where you are powerful and where you are confident. Because if you continue to hide, if you continue to split, like play small, if you continue to shrink, right? And I see a lot of women do this. They, they take up the space. And what I mean by that is maybe they say something that they truly believe to be like honest. What if they say something that is just direct and they believe that it's, it, it's their truth about their business or it's the truth about their industry or this is what they think or something like that, right? And I see them do it. And they put it out there and then it's like they expand and then they contract again. So it's like they expanded and then I see them shrink and they go right back into hiding, playing small. Yeah, like Nicole said, yeah, like hiding, playing small. Um, I don't want to take up too much space. I don't want to be direct. Um, I'm just going to kind of like hide over here, not really say those things again, not really do those things. Yeah. And it's just like, it's crazy to see me like see a lot of women go through that of I'm expanding and I'm taking up space and now I'm contracting and I'm expanding and then I'm contracting again. And I see them do it all the time. And it's as if they're just terrified to take up this space. And I get it. I get it. It's scary. It is scary to say, this is my space. I'm going to own this. This is who I'm going to be, right? Like I'm going to be this person. It is scary. Believe me, it is very scary to be, you know, the one out of your friends who's doing something that, you know, maybe your other friends won't agree with, or maybe your other friends just like aren't on board with, or they don't understand. And they might have some weird reactions. It is scary to be a person who is like, I am now going to directly communicate with someone who used to just communicate with me through like passive aggressiveness or subtle things like that, or getting mad at me for this thing. And I'm going to be direct with them and say, Hey, if you're angry with me about this, please speak with me directly, right? Or it is scary to be like, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, and have that type of decisive like decision making where it's just yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. It's not, oh, I'm sorry, or I, you know, no, <laughs> there's none of that. There's no space for that. It's just like, it's like if someone approaches me with something, I'm like, no, I don't need that. Thank you, you know, or yes, I would like that. Thank you. There's no like, apologizing for who I am or apologizing for the space that I'm taking up. It's this person that we all have to be and step into in order to make massive amount of money and a massive impact on the industry. You have to step into that role of where you, you can't be afraid of hurting other people's feelings. You can't be afraid of how people are going to judge you or think about you or whatever, you can't, I, I can't even bother with that stuff anymore. And sometimes I find myself slipping into that again. I'll have moments where I'm like, well, what if she thinks this about me? And I'm like, who the fuck cares? <laughs> Wait a second. I can't fucking care what she thinks about me because I have a mission in a business that needs to be accomplished, right? I need to make more women more money. And I can't do that if I'm worried about what like, if this person said or this person thought or this person felt. I can't, right? I have to be direct. I have to be honest. And I have to take up space. And that's what you need to do too. So if you are not booking 10K clients, it's because you have a little fear in there about taking up space and looking like a bitch a lot of times. And guess what? You don't have room for that anymore. You can't have room for that anymore. You have to 
step into your bitch or you're going to step into being broke. <laughs> That's the bottom line. <laughs> People will judge you regardless if you're successful or not. So give them something to judge. Yes. Totally agree. 110% agree. They judge you for whatever else you do. So you want to judge me for doing something amazing? I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining me live. I'm so glad the jackhammer didn't go off <laughs> the side of my office for this one. I'll see you guys tomorrow where I'm going to be talking more about money mindset and these things that I've learned that I have to become and step into, things like being a bitch and other stuff. And there's some other things. And relationship things. That's what I'm going to be talking about tomorrow relationship stuff when it's going to be juicy and it's going to be good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you everyone for joining me. Bye guys.